Jim Kinsman might have thought his funeral was a little much. Jim has been called a hero for his actions to protect his fellow soldiers. But loved ones say he deserved this, if not more. Jim was courageous, competitive, daring, and heroic. He had these traits from childhood and would later be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. In 1969, President Richard Nixon presented a then 24-year-old kinsman with the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest military honor. While in Vietnam, Private Kinsman used his helmet and his body to take the impact of an exploding grenade. He may have saved the lives of seven fellow American soldiers. The kind of war story seen in a movie, but not one Kinsman liked to tell. No, man, we, did, we didn't know nothing about it until, well, in the school years when you start hearing rumors, and then I asked my mom, and she kind of explained what happened, but never never really talked about it. Son Reggie says his dad would rather be remembered as the father of seven who returned from war to his home in Lewis County to work as a logger and later a farmer. Over the years, Kinsman did attend veterans events. We saw him once at the University of Washington in 2009, but he didn't seek the spotlight and never bragged about the medal. He gave it away to Lewis County's Veterans Memorial Museum when it opened in 1997. His family is glad others have learned about the medal. When I heard that story, I it was such a feeling of pride. His pies were always eagerly anticipated and the first to be eaten at a family get-together. That medal only got a brief mention at the funeral, which is something Jim would have enjoyed because he never thought his actions overseas were that big a deal. That's just how he was and he just didn't want to, he just figured he did what he was supposed to do. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.